welcome back hearty welcome to you we are solving examples as part of mathematical induction and specifically examples where we have inequality between left hand side and the right hand side in a statement we have to prove that 2n plus 7 is less than n plus 3 whole square so i'll go ahead and try to solve this first step we have to prove that the statement holds good for n equal to 1 or a particular specific value if i put n equal to 1 LHS is equal to 2 into 1 plus plus 7 that's nothing but equal to 9 RHS is equal to n plus 3 whole square that's nothing but 1 plus 3 whole square that's equal to 16 we know that 9 is less than 16 we want to check for one more value let us say n LHS equal to 2 into 2 plus 7 that's 11 and RHS equal to n plus 3 whole square that is 2 plus 3 whole square that's equal to 25 also we know that 11 is less than 25 we know n 9 is less than 16 and also 11 is less than 25 so first step is done second step first we have to assume that the statement is true for n equal to k assuming statement true for n equal to k what we have we have 2k plus 7 is less than k plus 3 whole square now if we assume that this is true what we have to prove we have to prove prove that statement holds good for n equal to k plus 1 how it looks like for n equal to k plus 1 I'll have 2 into k plus 1 plus 7 is less than k plus 1 plus 3 whole square so I have to prove to be proven proven that 2k plus 9 is less than k plus 4 whole square or 2k plus 9 is less than k square plus 8k plus 16 this is what we have to prove and remember we have already assumed that 2k plus 11 is less than k plus 3 whole square so I'll start with LHS of k plus 1 that's nothing but 2k plus 9 if I take 2k plus 9 on the LHS I can write it as 2k plus 7 plus 2 and I know that 2k plus 7 I can write it as I know that that is less than k plus 3 whole square so I can write I'm starting here from LHS LHS <coughs> pardon me LHS is 2k plus 9 that's nothing but equal to 2k plus 7 plus 2 but 2k plus 7 from equation 1 from 1 I know that the, the, that is less than k plus 3 whole square plus 2 so k plus 1 LHS is less than k plus 3 whole square plus 2 which is nothing but k square plus 6k plus 9 plus 2 that's nothing but equal to k square plus 6k plus 11 now we can stop here saying that we know that k square plus 6k plus 11 is less than k plus 4 whole square or k square plus 8k plus 16 therefore 2k plus 9 is less than that what we can say we can say one way is we can say now k square plus 6k plus 11 is less than k square plus 8k plus 16 for any value of k which is a natural number so therefore 2k plus 9 is less than k square plus 8k plus 16 
another way of doing it is I can just continue from where we have left we said 2k plus 9 is less than k square plus 6k plus 11 but what I have to prove is k square plus 8k plus 16 I will add that on both the sides this becomes 2k plus 9 plus 2k plus 5 is less than k square plus 8k plus 16 or 2k plus 9 plus 2k plus 5 is less than k plus 4 whole square. Now if you see 2k plus 9 after adding some positive value also it is less than k plus 4 whole square then obviously 2k plus 9 is less than k plus 4 whole square. I hope you agree with that. If two positive integers you are adding it is less than RHS then each one of them should be less than if after adding these two integers it is less than RHS then automatically the one 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 of them should be less than the RHS or 2k plus 9 plus 2k 5 is less than k plus 4 whole square then obviously 2k plus 9 less than k plus 4 whole square this is nothing but 2 into k plus 1 plus 7 less than k plus 1 plus 3 whole square which is nothing but 2n plus 7 is less than n plus 3 whole square proven for n equal to k plus 1. So that's how we, we can prove that the statement is true for any value of natural numbers. So we will solve some more examples in the coming videos. We are doing problems on mathematical induction. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.